Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We have a square ABCD to solve this coordinate geometry straight lines problem. We have a square ABCD with the diagonal AC given by 8x minus 15y equals to 0 and we have a vertex B 1 comma 2 with coordinates that is not part of the diagonal AC. Now given that equation of one diagonal and the vertex we have to find out the equations of a, B and B, C are the sides which are having the vertex B with 1 comma 2. Now, we know that diagonal divides the square into two equal parts and it will be making an angle of 45 degrees with the sides of the square. Now, to solve this problem, we will use the concept of angle between two lines which is can we find out if we know the slopes of those two lines. So tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So first let's go to line AC and try to find out what is the slope of that. 8x minus 15y equals to 0. So 15y equals to 8x or y equals to 8x by 15. So the slope of AC is 8 by 15 and let us say the slope of AB is m. Now once we know the slope of AB and AC, we can easily use the formula and calculate the value of m. Since we know the angle between them is 45 degrees, so slope of AB is m and slope of AC is 8 by 15. Now the formula is tan theta equals to absolute value of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 where m1 m2 are the slopes of the two lines here the slopes are m comma 8 by 15 let's substitute that we know theta equals to 45 degrees tan 45 that is equals to 1 1 equals to m minus 8 by 15 divided by 1 plus 8m by 15. Let us simplify that and try to find out what will be the values of m. If we know the value of ab slope then automatically the slope of bc will be negative reciprocal of that because we know m1 m2 product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is minus 1. So, simplifying we will get 15 minus 8 equals to 15 plus 8m when you take positive value or it will be 15m minus 8 equals to minus 15 minus 8m. So, we are going to get two values now one for slope of AB and one for slope of BC. The first one will give us 7m equals to 23 or m equals to 23 by 7. The second one will give us 23m is minus 7 or m is minus 7 by 23. So, slope of AB if I take it as 23 by 7, then slope of BC is minus 7 divided by 23. Once we know the slopes, we have the point, we can easily calculate, we can easily find out the equations of AB and BC now because we have point slope form with us. So, let's go and try to find out the equations of AB and BC. So actually when we do the angle between two lines, we are getting the slopes of AB and AD, but AD and BC are parallel lines, so they will have the same slope. So actually what we are calculating by m values here is slopes of AB and AD, but AD and BC will have the same slopes because they are parallel lines. Hope that is okay. Then let's go to point slope form. Point slope form is given by if x1 comma y1 is a point on the line and the slope of the line is m, then y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Here x1 comma y1 is 1 comma 2 and the slope of the line m is 23 by 7. To find out the equation of ab, x1 comma y1 is 1 comma 2 and slope of the line is 23 by 7. Let us substitute that now in the equation. We have y minus 2 equals to 23 by 7 into x minus 1. Let us simplify that. 
we have 23 into x minus 1 equals to 7 into y minus 2 or 23 x minus 23 equals to 7 y minus 14 or 23 x minus 7 y equals to 19 9 or minus 9 equals to 0 23 x minus 7 y minus 9 equals to 0 or 23x minus 7y equals to 9. Now the equation of BC easily we can find out it will be 7x plus 23y plus k and it has to pass through 1 comma 2 you can find out that way also 7x plus 23y plus k and substituting 1 comma 2 you will get 7x plus 23y equals to 53 or you can again go back to the slope of bc minus 7 by 23 you know the point is 1 comma 2 y minus 2 equals to minus 7 by 23 into x minus 1 simplify that we get minus 7x minus 7 equals to 23 into y minus 2 simplify that we will get 7x plus 23y equals to 53. So the equations of AB and BC are given by 23x minus 7y equals to 9 or 7x plus 23y equals to 53. You can substitute 1 comma 2 in these two lines you see that that satisfies that. So those are the equations of AB and BC.